So this is also an electric circuit that we are going to consider from the question paper, which was written June 2023 exam. Uh, that is question number five. So we are given the circuit below shows two light bulbs. So we are given of four ohms and five ohms respectively. So these are the light bulbs that you're given, uh, the one with four ohms and another one, five ohms. So if you are to cross check, there's an ammeter connected in series, also an ammeter connected in series, another ammeter connected in series, which is of the, the main circuit. That is uh, the layout that you're given. Connected in parallel to a 4,5 battery. The two light bulbs that you're given are the ones which are connected in parallel to the 4,5 uh, battery source. Meaning to say, remember, in a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same. So across this, there is a voltage of uh, uh, 4,5 volts. Across this also, there's a voltage of uh, 4,5 volts across. So there's a voltage across each point. That is the idea there of a parallel circuit. Current is the same. The current that is going to flow into this circuit is not the same. It is going to branch. That's why there's an ammeter here and also an ammeter connected here. These currents are different. The current is going to be subdivided, all right, according to the what the resistance that you're going to have. Not to say that it is the, the it is equal. No, it is not equal. There, there's going to be another current. There, another current. So from the main part of our circuit, from the source. The current that is going to flow through our ammeter one, let us just say current one. Then this is the same current that we are seeing entering here at this point. As long as it meets this junction, it is it is now separated. Another one currents, another part of current, uh, current flows this side, another part of current flows this side. So that is what you need there. It branches at this point. Another one goes this side, another one goes this side. So at the end. These two are different. So let's say along this ammeter, we're just going to call current two, that's our ammeter two. Along ammeter three, the current that we are going to measure here will be current three. That is what you can analyze from this. These two in parallel. The only thing that is the same is the voltage in parallel. So the question was 5.1, calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. So the effective resistance of the circuit is just like a, uh, the total resistance that is affecting without any internal resistance. The one that is affecting that we can see from our diagram, that is our effective uh, resistance. So as we can see, these two resistors are in parallel. So it follows we are supposed to calculate the total resistance of a parallel circuit. So from your formula sheet, uh, that is 1 over RP is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So meaning to say we can use this formula to calculate. I talked about this formula before. Uh, make sure that you watch other videos so that you do understand. So that's 1 over R1 because they are in parallel. All right. So 1 over RP in parallel is equal to 1 over R1. Uh, so you're just going to consider these two resistors in whatever order that you want. So that's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 in whatever order that you are going to take. So this is 1 over RP, which is uh, the total parallel combination that we're given uh, as our resistors are connected in parallel. So what you're going to do is to simplify these two, just add, all right? So this is what you're gonna do just like this, add one over four plus one over five, like this. So you're gonna add one over four plus one over five, that is nine over 20. So this is going to give us nine over 20 like this. So take note, this is RP, one over RP. I mean, what we need is RP, this resistance. So how do I find RP? I told you guys to find RP, we're just gonna invert this so that it will be RP over one. And we know in our mathematics that RP over one is same as what? Is same as RP. So meaning to say, if I invert this side, I'm also going to invert this side. So that means I'm going to have RP is equal to, if I invert this side, it is going to be 20 over nine. And as a decimal, this is what I want you to see. If you invert this uh, 20 over nine, 
uh, that's one divided to the answer that we got. That is 20 over 9 like this. Oh, as a decimal, that is going to be 2, 2, 2, 2, and so on. You are supposed to round off this to two decimal places so you can even round this. The shift set up, you fix this on number 6. So you're going to fix this to two decimal places. All right. So this will be to two decimal places. Uh, okay, guys, it, it shifted again to what I did not want it to be. Sorry for that, like this. So this will be 2,2,2 two, two like that. Okay. So that's 2,2,2. Two. That is just two, uh, two decimal places. So you can even uh, round off to two decimal places. So therefore, that is our RP, which is the resistance. And our resistance is measured in, in ohms. The total resistance, the effective is the parallel combination that we are seeing there. So that's our total resistance. So we can use it even to calculate the total current of the circuit. We can even use our total resistance because that's the total re uh, resistance that we have, the effective resistance. So from the total resistance, we can calculate the total current on 5.2. That is three marks for this. All right, so let's calculate our total current. So when given the total resistance of the circuit, uh, it follows that. Uh, remember also this one, we can take it from uh, this V triangle. Uh, that is VIR like this, VIR like this. So if you want to determine the current, you just close this current. So it's V over V over R. So current can be calculated uh, from there as the voltage over resistance. So if you want resistance, you close R like this, it's V over I, just like that. If you want voltage, you close voltage, it's current times resistance. That is what it means. So it means current is equal to the voltage over the resistance. The total voltage in our circuit is 4,5 volts. So there we have got 4,5 over the total resistance, which is of the parallel combination that we got. So that is going to give us the total uh, current of the whole circuit. And that was going to be 2,03 if you round off to two decimal places. And this is current, which is measured in amperes. All right. So that was how we are supposed to answer this question. Given 5.3, we are given calculate the amount of charge. I also talked about this, the charge from my previous question that we had, that the charge is simply the product. If you if you are to consider uh, the issue of the charge, the product of current time, the change in time, but they are saying it's supposed to be the charge passing through the ammeter A2 in 10 seconds. So it is the, the, the charge passing through the ammeter, this one, ammeter A2. So it must be on this one. It must affect our ammeter, this one. Take note there. It must affect the ammeter too. It must affect uh, the ammeter A2 in 10 seconds. So there we are given the time, uh, 10 seconds. All right, so that's 5.3. All right, so you're going to have 5.3. So remember, I want to calculate the charge uh, through the ammeter, the second ammeter, given the time, we are given the time in 10 seconds. So we know that uh, to calculate the charge, do not worry, you have got this in your information sheet. You're going to be given this. Q is equal to the what? The product of current and the change in time, which is our charge. So meaning to say our charge is equal to the current uh, times the change in time, which is the current. They said ammeter two across the ammeter to this second ammeter. So the current across this ammeter, let's just say this is I2, the current two. So we need the current first of this one. This one is not I1, no, they are different because in a parallel circuit, the current is not the same. But in a parallel circuit, we said the voltage is the same. Voltage is the same in a parallel circuit. That is the voltage is the same. So if the voltage is the same, we can calculate the current I2 given voltage and resistance because there's a light bulb with a resistance, we can calculate our current. Remember I said from this triangle, uh, from our VIRV, 
I are like this. You can calculate whatever that you want given two of these. So there we are given the voltage and the resistance. So we can calculate our current, all right? We need to calculate current. So it means current is voltage over, voltage over resistance, all right? So that means in that case, we can calculate the current across our ammeter two. So the current across ammeter two. So let's calculate first uh, the current across uh, ammeter two, all right? So we need to calculate this one first. So the current across our ammeter two, let's say this is I2. So you're gonna have current, remember our formula, voltage over, voltage over the resistance. So it is going to be the voltage because the voltage is the same. So you use the 4,5 from the battery. So that is going to be 4,5 over the resistance that is across this ammeter two. The resistance that we have is the resistance of the light bulb that we have. And the resistance there is of what? Of four ohms. So we've got the resistance of four ohms. So that is voltage over resistance. So you are going to divide uh, 4,5. That is what you're going to, 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 to have at the end. So we are now dividing uh, 4,5 divided by what divided by four in order for us to have this. So in our calculation, this is what you're going to have um, because of the, remember the degree of accuracy will be given to two decimal places. So if you are to use your calculator without fixing this, because remember we already fixed our calculator to two decimal places. So if I divide 4,5 divided by four like this, it is going to fix my answer to two decimal places but the actual answer was supposed to be 1,125, all right? It was supposed to be 1,125. So you can write this. If you have fixed your calculator to three to two decimal places, it's gonna give you 1,13 to two decimal places, all right? That is our current I2 there to two decimal places according to the instruction that you'll be given on your question paper on the information that you're given and instructions. So given the current now, we can calculate our charge. Remember what we wanted here was to calculate the charge. So I say that the charge can be calculated. We saw our formula from our formula sheet that charge is equal to the product of the current and the change in time, in which is in seconds. So this one is in seconds. The change in time must be in seconds. So already you are given this in seconds. So our current, that's 1,13 times the change in time, we are already given our change in time in seconds, that is 10. So at the end, Q is going to be, uh, if you multiply 1,13 times 10, just gonna use your calculator. Uh, you're gonna multiply this by 10 to two decimal places, that is gonna be, all right, so it's because of the, all right, uh, guys, what is gonna happen here? Remember it was 1,13 times 10 like this. So it's gonna be, uh, 11 comma three zero there that's gonna be 11 comma three zero uh to two decimal places 11 comma uh three zero like that which is oh uh which is coulombs like this okay so this is because you round it off here if you didn't if you didn't round off this one you are going to have something like one comma one two five Meaning to say also here it was going to be 1,125. You multiply, so it's going to be 11,25 uh, coulombs if you didn't round off before, all right? But if you have rounded off, your answer is going to be 11,30. Do not worry about that. Do not even worry about that. It's an instruction that you're given to round your, off your answers to two, to two decimal places. So do not worry about that. All right, 5.4, another resistor in series is connected in series. So we connected a resistor in series next to the ammeter A1. So there is an ammeter A1 here. All right, so this is what is uh, happening. Let's try to figure out uh, what is uh, going to happen. Very sorry for that. So they're saying we connected a resistor next to the ammeter uh, one. This is our first ammeter. We connect a resistor. Uh, here across, all right? We just connect our, our resistor. Let's say the resistor was connected next to ammeter A1. How will this change? 
affect the total current of the circuit? How is it going to affect? Write down only decreases, increases, or remains the same. Then give a reason for your answer. So they want you to write how does it affect? Does the resistance, does it, does it going to affect this, uh, the total current? How? How does it affect? How is it going to affect? Is it going to decrease the current? Is it going to increase the total current? Is the total current going to remain the same? That is what you are being asked there. So if you connect a resistor in a series combination, like what you're given there, you have connected a resistor in a series combination. There is a series combination you are given resistors. Uh, maybe you had a voltage source before. You had something like this with a voltage source. So you are given uh, something of this nature and you've got uh, a resistor like this. So what happens is that in a series combination, the moment that you connect another is the moment that you put a resistor here, the resistance is increasing. You have increased the resistance of the circuit. Remember in a series circuit you add, if this is one and this is two, so it's gonna be R1 class, you are adding. So you are increasing the resistance. As you are increasing the resistance, remember resistance and current, they are inversely proportional. Let's take here. This is what you have, something like this, voltage, current, resistance. Let's check the relationship that happens between our resistance and the current. If you are given this, okay, let's consider in terms of, uh, let's say you put in a circuit. For a certain value that you are going we have in terms of the current that you have here, the bigger this value, because voltage is something that is supposed to maintain. So if this current now is becoming bigger, the car, the resistance is becoming small, it is becoming smaller. If the resistance is becoming bigger, the, the current becomes smaller. So this one, the bigger it is, the smaller, the smaller our current, the smaller our current. So as I say that we are increasing the resistance, the resistance is being increased here. You have increased the resistance. So what is going to uh, affect the current? The current is going to decrease. Remember, they do not want us to, 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 to talk about the resist, uh, the resistance. No, they want us to talk about the, the, how is it going to affect the total, I mean, the total current not the resistance, but the total current. So we are not going to talk about the resistance, but we, we work from the resistance. But as we conclude, we do not conclude about the resistance. We conclude about what we are being asked there, which is the current. It's true that the resistance will increase, but what is the effect of resistance and current? They oppose each other. So as resistance increases, therefore the current decreases remember you're told uh to write either increases or decreases so our answer is decreases the current is going to decrease that's decreases the reason for this now it is because of this part that we talked about that is the reason the more uh by adding resistance we are increasing the total the total resistance all right so by adding uh by adding the resistor by adding uh, the resistor. So you're adding the resistor in this case by adding the resistor. Uh, the uh, the resistance increases. All right, in series. Let's just say in series because this uh will be in a series combination by adding uh the resistance in series. It increases. It increases. So this one is gonna increase. So it increases. Uh, the resistance. So this one, it increases uh, the resistance. So as the resistance increases, what happens? Therefore, the current decreases already. Uh, we talked about the current that it is going to add to decrease. So the opposite there, we are talking about opposite, all right? By adding the resistor in series, it increases the resistance. And when the resistance is, is big compared, um, when we are comparing now, the bigger the value of resistance, the smaller the current. That is, the current decreases. So that is what you just needed there.